Hello, Facebook community. <laughs> I'm located in my home, sheltered with my husband and our seven-month-old granddaughter, Kaylin. And we're all dressed up with no place to go. You're trying to take that off? Yeah, is that like not suiting you? <laughs> so I've been thinking about how I do love to dress up and what else do I love? Mm. So I checked in with Mother Teresa, who reminded me that to bring love into my home, for this is where our love for each other must start. It's not how much we do, but how much love we put in that action. <laughs> so these actions with Kaylin are constantly uh, changing. <laughs> And I'm surprised that she's just like totally cooperating right now. Dennis is making faces at her. <laughs> so I've been thinking about how I can act more youthful. In fact, you might find this rather funny. Um, we realized that Kaylin is like constantly wanting us to walk with her. And we realized that uh, she does that because we're always walking. So she doesn't have a mentor right now to uh, teach her how to crawl. She does the army crawl really well. <laughs> and uh, so guess what? We've become her mentors <laughs> and learning how to crawl. So it's, it's pretty interesting how actions are um, being done through <laughs> love. Uh, so that's how I start acting more youthful <laughs> because Kaylin reminds me of what it's like to be a child again. <laughs> So how can I transfer her childlike qualities to me to keep my inner child ageless? At times it seems that society has shaped me so much that it's changed my childlike curiosity and love for a living. Do you remember who you were before you were defined by the world? <laughs> When you're in doubt, just reach out to your child <laughs> or your inner child, and you'll find that this child believes that everything is possible. <laughs> Nurture that child and inner child and open your mind to new ideas. In fact, Winona Judd says, I promised my inner child that never again Will I ever abandon myself for anything or anyone else again? <sighs> Your bright, shining, and loving inner child <laughs> is ready. <laughs> right now. Right now, huh, Kayla? <laughs> to connect with you. Ah, so greet your inner child, nourish it with thankfulness and love. Let it be innocent and playful for a moment <laughs> because that's when it will come out and play <laughs> and return you with all the joys you may not be able to imagine right now. <laughs> Feed your inner child with this music. And Kaylin, guess what? I have to put you down because I can't hold the violin and you at the same time. <laughs> Yeah, she goes, uh, army crawl.
So along with Mother Teresa's words, very wise words, a Jewish Canadian rap god named Drake also reminds us to live without pretending, love without depending, listen without defending, and speak without offending. Namaste.